good morning guys welcome back to the channel so i'm super excited it's opening weekend well i guess the fishing season never really ends um just depends on what species you go after because trout never really closes but uh the general closer is over now so everything's open everything's open everything's good to go um so i only have a few hours uh this morning to fish but uh, so i came down to one of my favorite spots to come fly fish and that's uh Lockport, Manitoba. I mean, it's a premier uh, channel cat fishing spot. Um, the river is extremely, extremely low this year. Uh, basically, the area I'm going down in, I'll just show you right here. But you can see here, it's all, this is usually water. There's usually water right here, and I'll usually wade out into that section and then fish off this little island where all those uh, pelicans are. But, uh, so, I don't know not too sure about the current seam there but i think i should be in the money spot um i mean like i said it's still early season so i'm not expecting the cats and the drums to be super super active but if we can get it into a couple that'd be pretty awesome um now i'll just show you guys what i am fishing with so i do have um my eight weight fly rod this one i actually uh, got last year it's a max max catch extreme it's just honestly it's a cheap Chinese carbon rod um, when I'm living on funds this is what you got to do to get out there unfortunately I broke my other rod last uh, the year before so I need a cheap alternative honestly I think I got this rod for uh, 100 bucks maybe and it casts pretty freaking awesome so um, it's 10 feet 8 weight and then I have uh, my reel is something I really love the dragonfly journey uh seven to eight weight uh i got a floating line i got 30 pound backing i'm running um about a seven foot chunk of 20 pound fluorocarbon uh now these this water is pretty muddy so i don't think fluorocarbon matters but this is the only 20 pound that i had because i just use it for salmon fishing a lot of guys are running 30 pound out here for these cats um but i don't want to run uh, the same poundage as my backing um, I'd rather my leader break before my backing. Uh, last year, I had something massive, which I think it might have been a sturgeon. Uh, just spool me, spool me, spool me. I think my backing, I had shredded on a rock, and I lost all my fly line, lost my sink tip, all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too, is I'm running a heavy sink tip as well on the end of this to try to get my fly down a little bit fast. I mean, the current is pretty darn slow right now, so I might not even need a, a sink tip today. But anyways, that's my setup. Um, I said cats and drums have become one of my favorite things to actually catch on the fly rod. The eight weight is a little underpowered for these beasts. Really a 10 weight would be ideal. But hey, that's what I got. That's what I'm gonna use. But before we head down there, I just wanna show you uh, basically what I use for the channel cats out here. Um, I didn't have time to tie a couple flies. So really I only have about three or four uh really good ones and i have some okay ones basically any kind of woolly bugger uh black all of those darker colors will work but honestly this has been one of my uh go-to's it it's a ddh leech and it has uh, a dumbbell eyes it, on this one i believe i put some magic dubbing for the body black marabou for the tail and i put a little bit of crystal flash in the tail to kind of like mimic a shiner in a sense and uh, i believe i also put a bit of olive in here as well and this is uh you know what i forget the size of the hook but you want a nice solid hook i've, I've been i've used smaller hooks but you really got to play that fish well uh and obviously barbless because we're in manitoba but yeah this has been honestly this has been the pattern that's caught me the most drums the most cats out of any pattern I've thrown out there. Um, basically, I just let it sink right down to the bottom and then I start stripping back. You might lose some flies because it is pretty rocky bottom. That doesn't work. I move, I start moving a little bit higher up in the, in the column. Um, the beauty about that is usually drums and cats you'll get bottom. I mean, cats you'll get through the whole water column. They do feed like trout. 
Um, so drum for sure right off the bottom. But as you move higher in the water column, I, that's usually when I start picking off gold, gold eye as well. So that's pretty fun. Bringing a couple gold eye, I'm definitely going to keep those. Um, there's also sturgeon in here, which would be like dream come true if I can catch, catch one on the fly rod. We got carp, we got pike, we got uh, walleye, sauger. Like I said, there's so many fish in here. So uh, realistically, I'm probably only gonna get some cat drums, maybe a gold eye. Uh, I wouldn't be expecting in the, in the currents that I'm fishing that I'll be picking up any pike or anything like that. So anyways, let's head down there. Let's try to get on some fish. guys first fish of uh, the 2021 open season nice little freshwater drum we're gonna get this one back in I'm gonna strap you guys to my chest so uh, you guys can see the action next time all right guys so what I do here is I cast my my fly out and I usually depending on which fly I'm using this one's pretty heavy so I'll count to about 10 Mississippis and I'll even give it a couple little jigs as it as that flies going down and then nice uh, slow but sharp uh, retrieves um, some days you almost got to go down to a crawl to even uh, instigate a strike and always point your rod tip down towards the water that way you have Lots of room to uh, hook set. And the drum. It just hit me right in front of me too. This is why. Yeah, that's definitely a little drum. You can see how scrappy they are. They're one of my favorite, honestly, fish to catch here in the red. And they get big. I believe a master angler is 34. I really know 26, 26. I could be wrong. I'll double check it and I'll, I'll put that info down here. But now that's about six casts and three fish. So that's pretty good. So there you go, nice freshwater drum. You can see it has some nice green uh, accents there. Nice little guy, I'm gonna put it back. There we go. There you go guys, fish on. Either feels like a little cat or, oh, no, I think we got a cat. Sweet, sweet. This is what we're after right here. Doesn't feel big or anything like that, but it's definitely a cat. I wouldn't, unless it's a big freaking drum, but 
She's got some weight behind it. It's about uh, just after 9 a.m. This is usually when it starts uh, heating up for me, so I'm not too, too surprised. I did lose one strike already. I got that drum and now just hooked onto this one. This one's not much of a fighter. She's more of a, a weight, but we'll see. We'll see if we can get a good run out of it. Definitely does not want to come in. Okay, well we're trying to try to get close up here because oh oh no, I think it's uh might even be a carp. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely a carp. Sick. It's my first carp ever, guys. First carp. Oh, she's foul hooked. So. Let's get it in here. There we go guys, nice carp. I've actually never ever caught one of these, so that's pretty exciting. Okay, we're gonna send that back in. Woo! Got onto another drum. They seem to be stacked right in here, that's for sure. So after this one, I'll probably get you guys on the tripod, so see some of that action a little bit better than on my chest. guys that's a nice drum right there still not no master angler but these are pretty and fit and fun to fish and she gone i'll show you guys i did uh, change up my presentation basic same idea but i did go a little bit bigger this is usually my go-to these bigger ones i think they just make more noise in the water so
multi species day. I just freaking caught a pile of clams. This is why those drum are just stacked up there because they honestly love eating this stuff. Drum don't have teeth out here, but deep down they actually have um, two really bony, like, teeth plates down in their throat that they end up just crushing, crushing this. So um, these are evasive, so I am gonna get rid of them. Um, these are just destroying, destroying our waterways right now. All right, so this is what we're trying to keep out of uh, other areas of uh, Manitoba. Well, last cast of the day, guys, got me a fish, so pretty stoked about that. I'll try to get it in here. <laughs> gonna reel in my line because I need to reel in it anyways hopefully I won't lose too much tension just feels like a little drum so let's see what our last fish of the day looks like so there we go last fish of the day guys guys back of the truck that's it for me for today I'm exhausted you know this happens every season first day out throwing the old fly rod around especially these eight weights with uh, heavy sink tips and big flies you definitely start feeling in your shoulders start feeling in your wrists until you start building up those muscles again but we had a really productive day no masters no uh, cat did have one on for, for a little bit well or it could have been a foul hooked uh, drum. I'm pretty sure that one that I had lost earlier was definitely a cat. But uh, no, overall it was a productive day. I even got a carp. Well, I got two carp. One of them I foul hooked, the other one I got legitimate, legitimately. So pretty happy about that. And uh, yeah, lots of fishing left. So we we're definitely still gonna get into some of those uh, channel cats. Uh, I will really, the cats I usually get up closer to the locks. I have caught a few out here, but mainly I catch drum and uh, gold eye in this area. Uh, I didn't really want to get out by the locks today, being opening day and everybody's just crazy wanting to get out because of COVID. Uh, it's just a gong show down there. This is usually a little bit quieter. And like I said, we got some action all day long. No, no, uh, no tanks or anything like that, but I had a blast. Hope you guys had a blast. Um, don't forget to hit that like button out at the bottom if you really like this content. Other than that, we'll catch you guys on the next one. And thanks again for joining me on this adventure.